You're a, a great boxing mind, definitely a big boxing fan. Want to get your take on a couple fights coming up this year. Um, Triple G Jacobs has just announced the press conference is going to be tomorrow. How do you see that fight, and, and do you feel like there should be almost kind of an extra credit given, uh, given to Jacobs just showing the balls to actually fight Triple G, kind of wanting it, calling him out, all that, and actually getting and signing the contract? Look, him, him doing all that, calling for the fight and wanting that fight, tell, says that he's ready for it. You know, with Triple G, I think you just have to fight smart, you know. Uh, I picked Triple G to win that fight, obviously. Triple G is just so powerful. But, uh, but I think Jacobs, just the, the men, if he has that mentality that he could beat him, and if he comes out with a perfect game plan where he, where he could fight smart and fight on the outside and, and, and give him angles and just throw combinations, maybe not look for the knockout, just, just look to win a decision, you know, he, he, he's got a shot, you know. Jacobs has skills, and J Jacobs is, is a world champion too. So it's it's a fight that uh, that uh, that could be that that he could do it. But you know, you just have to fight the perfect game plan. You know, fight the perfect fight. You know, you can't can't try to please the crowd. Can't try to please nobody. You know, you have to just stick to the game plan. And I'm sure that's what they're gonna do. And 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 hopefully they do. You know, but it's still very dangerous for you know Triple G is just a beast. He's the the hell of a fighter. He not only has insane power, but he also has great skills. So it's an interesting fight. It's a fight that I'm looking forward to watching. Another one I'm sure uh, on the horizon you're looking forward to, Garcia versus Thurman. Great, great uh, welterweight matchup. How do you see that playing out? I mean, these guys, two young, young, strong champions right in their prime. How do you see that going? It's another another good fight. Look, a lot of people think uh, think Danny Garcia is going to is gonna lose because uh, Thurman is just so powerful and big and strong for, for that weight division. But uh, but Danny, Danny, Danny's undefeated, and uh, a lot of people thought he was gonna, he was gonna lose to Matisse, and he fought a great fight, perfect fight, and beat him pretty convincingly. He uh, every time people think he's gonna lose, he goes out and wins. So Danny could pull it up, you know. I'm, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Dan, my brother Mikey picks Danny to win. I, I, did, yeah. I, 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 I pick Thurman because he's just the bigger guy, the stronger guy. He's all, he also has speed. It's good skills, so I picked Thurman, but uh, but it's 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 a uh, it's a close fight. Uh, biggest fight, uh, at least size-wise, coming up: um, Klitschko versus Joshua. Uh, a lot of people are big on Anthony Joshua. Um, he looks like a beast. He looks like the real deal. Uh, what? But you know, Klitschko only had the one loss in what eight years or something like that. How do you see that going? Well, you know, I, I am I'm also a, one, a big uh, a big uh, Joshua fan. fan. Yeah, yeah. I. I met him and seen him in, in England when uh, when I went out there for Gradovich fight against Lee Selby, and when the kid came in into the weigh-ins, I had no idea who he was. I had no idea who he was, but just seeing him, you know, his looks, uh, uh, the way he, he has like a presence. It exactly, seems like, right? Yeah, yeah. like right away, as soon as he walks into the weigh, like he's recognized, like like he has that presence. I said, I don't know who this kid is, but he looks like a big star. Right. And they told me he's an Olympian, gold medalist, or right. all, all this, you know. I'm like, I seen it already. You know, I seen it right, right, right when, uh, when, when I seen him walk into the into the uh, locker room, and then when I seen him fire, well, of course, that that's when I, I, I said he's a real deal, because you know, one thing is looking and bringing that presence, but then the other one is fighting and backing it up in the ring. He's got he's got everything. I, I pick uh, Joshua to win that fight.